What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, death. We all have to look forward to it. Two things certain in life are death and taxes. Unless you're Wesley Snipes, then you just don't pay him and you go to jail. But I'd like to address the fact that bodybuilders die. And I also want to address the fact that it might not be because of why you think they die. As you guys know, 35 years old on November 22nd. I've, a lot of my friends in their early 40s, you know, I've lost a lot of people in the last two years. I've known directly and indirectly 10 healthy, non-steroid using, non-bodybuilding individual who have died of congenital heart defects, who have died of cancer, or who have died of other anomalies given to them. We hear about people dying. We hear about Art Atwood drowning. We hear about different bodybuilders having kidney failure, heart failure. And I'm not going to I'm not going to beat around the bush. Steroids, especially in the doses and amount taken by professional bodybuilders, are deleterious to your health. They have bad cardiovascular effects on your LDL cholesterol, your HDL cholesterol, your lipid profiles and all that good shit, right? However, Americans like to drink alcohol. I will state for the record that there is not one steroid on this earth that when taken diligently is as bad as even having a few beers a night. I believe that the hepatoxicity and the deleterious health effects from drinking even your casual look. I live in the suburbs. White women out here love their wine. And yes, I said white women. They love wine and they love pumpkin and they love Starbucks. All right. They put down fucking six, seven glasses of wine a night. I will put a liver enzyme test of Kai Green or Phil Heath or Dennis Wolf up against their livers any day of the fucking week. Let's go. Okay. At the end of the day, there's a lot of shit in our bodies. There's hearts. There's kidneys. There's livers. There's a lot of things. Bodybuilders at least usually get tests run. Okay. I know all the top bodybuilders. I know they're getting blood work done every three to six months, especially when getting ready for a show. There's very few bodybuilders who are living on the edge who are not getting blood work done, at least at that level. Sure, there's the some NPC tart out there who's fucking just running everything and not getting shit checked. Most bodybuilders are being diligent and watching their markers. And I know of one trainer, I'm not going to mention his name, has a lot of his athletes, these are top level pros, come off of everything until their blood work is right before he works with them. And this is someone, if I mentioned his name, everyone watching this video would know it. Even a casual bodybuilding connoisseur. At the end of the day, shit happens. You might have a congenital effect or it might not be your day. You know, my wife, um, shit, what year was that? That was 2011. She had a fungal ball, which, could, well, they, they think it was, it was a tumor. It was a growth in her sphenoid sinus. It was the size of a golf ball. The sphenoid sinus is the size of a small grape. It ate away her bone. If we would have been a little bit later, she would have died because it would have ate out, ate out. It would have fucked up her bone up there and exposed her carotid artery. They weren't able to remove it. She would have died. We got it just in time. We asked the surgeon what happened. Why would this happen? Bad luck is what he said. You can look at diabetes. Diabetes is completely type 2 diabetes, treatable, preventable, and curable. But people eat themselves into a stupor and die. That's type 2 diabetes. That's how I lost my father. My mother is a recreational drug addict. My mother, for some reason, is still alive. My mother is the strongest woman I've ever met. She's fought in the military at a high level. She's jumped out of airplanes. She's killed over 80 people. And she's just the toughest woman you'll ever meet in your life, okay? She's one of those who bucks the system. Then you got your Arnold's. Well, Arnold, oh, he had heart this, heart that. Arnold's like fucking 70 years old. Sly is almost 70 years old. He's on gobs and gobs of GH and test. He's still fine. At the end of the day, to take a small sampling out of it and also realize bodybuilders might be doing more than just steroids. Bodybuilders, I've been in this industry a long time. There's a large percentage, at least there was back in Titus's days. They'd get done competing and they'd be on all kinds of Winstrol and Orals and Halo and all that shit. 
and I'd see them get drunk off their ass every fucking week. Okay. Bodybuilders aren't just taking steroids. They're taking other shit that will fuck them up. I'm not for any, by any stretch of the imagination, any stretch, saying that steroid use for muscle growth is healthy. I'm not saying it. I'm saying that the death, the um, mortality factor in bodybuilding is overstated. And that's largely due to the media. The same media who Inside Edition said that creatine causes something called creatine rage. The media is retarded. Okay? Steroids aren't good. I don't recommend doing that unless you have a medical need to do them. I'm not going to say introducing an exogenous substance into your body intravenously, intranasally, or orally is a good thing as far as anabolic exogenous hormones are concerned. However, I will state that the mortality instance of steroids is vastly overstated. I want to see some intelligent debate. I'll actually check in on this one when I'm back from my hiatus. Please comment down below and let us know and share this video with your friends and be sure to tell them to subscribe to my channel because I'm a chump change motherfucker. I'm Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com because being on gobs and gobs of juice and still being healthy, is it possible? I don't fucking know. But that's not a game. <laughs>